CBT is here. It is indeed here. There's uh, no turning back to the pencil and paper. We are here to help you with this, uh, the challenges that you face with this new CBT format. It's going to be a very different kind of exam, a different experience for you. Really the big challenge is going to be the, uh, the, the fact that you cannot bring anything into the exam in terms of uh, materials to help you with the problems. Uh, you'll be able to bring your calculator, but that's going to be about, about it. You're only going to have the reference uh, handbook that's provided by NCS on the screen. You're not going to be able to bring anything else into the exam as you were with the, uh, the previous pencil and, and paper exam. And that uh, uh, reference handbook is a daunting handbook. It's 522 pages long, and uh, which is intimidating in itself. It's intimidating to me. It is not uh, necessarily complete. Uh, it even has a disclaimer that says that uh, not everything is in, uh, in this reference handbook. In fact, there are several problems in the NCS practice exam that use equations that are not in the reference handbook. Uh, so there's going to be a gap there and becoming familiar with this reference handbook and how to find the things that are in it and to know, in fact, what's not in it. That's going to be just as important. Well, another challenge is human nature worked for you in the pencil and paper because it was only offered twice a year, uh, a specific day in October and a specific day in April. Uh, not so with the CBT format. Uh, human nature works against you. You're going to be able to take this exam anytime you want to. And if for some reason you need to change it or reschedule it, it's a very easy process may be too easy for you. And I think that's important for you to, to choose that date and stay with it. This is a major, uh, major event in your, in your career. Take that exam that day. Uh, something could come up personal or at work that would keep you from, from that date. Sure, that, those kind of things happen. You've got to make a commitment to take this exam. And uh, if not, then uh, all of the effort that you've put in, and it's going to be a lot of effort, will be lost. On exam day, time management is going to be key. You're going to be on the clock from the time that you arrive at the site to the time that you leave. So you have to watch that completely. And uh, in the exam, the one thing that you want to keep in mind, you don't want to get stuck. So what we highly recommend is that you do a multiple pass approach to the exam. First pass as you go through, when you get to the, a problem that you know how to work, you work it. Just don't don't look any any beyond. Work the problem, uh, put an answer down, and don't think about don't second guess yourself. If you look at a problem and you, you know, I kind of think I know how. There's a process uh, to flag that particular problem and keep track of that, and move on. Uh, don't get stuck. Then the second pass is you're going to go to the ones that you flagged and you're going to work on those and do that several times, at least three times, maybe four. Now remember, you don't have to make a hundred on this exam. So you can let go of the ones that are hard and, uh, and just wor worry about the ones you can work. Don't worry about the ones you can't work. And even though you, you do have a very uh, tight uh, time schedule here, one of the important things is when you come to a problem that you know how to work, take your time. What I tell people all the time is you have plenty of time to work the problems you know how to work. Do not rush through the problems in the exam, even though the clock is ticking. The playing field is clearly changed. Uh, going from pencil and paper to CBT is a non-trivial change. Uh, you're going to have to do a lot of preparation. You're going to have a lot of work. Uh, but the DTC team is here to help you with that preparation. We, uh, we want you to pass, and we're going to do everything we can to make that happen.